Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to use the Echo Quilting feature. Let's start by going to the Home tab and clicking on New to open a new design page. Echo Quilting works best with simple closed shapes, so I want to draw one. Let's go to the Tools tab and click on Artwork. I want to use a rounded, which is a rounded rectangle. It's a square or rectangle that has rounded edges on it. So let's click on this. You can see that I now have that shape attached to my cursor. I'm going to click and hold and drag to create that shape. If I wanted this to be a square, I would hold the control key down. However, I want to have more of a rectangle shape, so I'm not doing that this time. When you're done drawing the shape, let go of the mouse button and I now have my shape ready to add some echoes to. First, we need to select the design. Let's go to the Quick Access Tools and click on Select. My design is now selected. Under the Tools tab, let's go in the Create box and click on Echo Quilting. Now I have some options here. First of all, the distance. 0.25 or a quarter inch is a really good setting to start with using. So we're going to change this one to 0.25. And then I want to choose how many repeats I'm going to have. Let's do five. And click OK. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see here. And I have a nicely echoed design. Next, I need to assign stitches. This is in, currently in artwork, so to assign stitches, let's do a right click, come down and from the right click menu, choose convert to, and then click on running stitches. This will now assign stitches to my design. I want to point out that these small lines that you see here are actually jumps between each row. Those will not be stitched, they're just there to show where the jumps will happen, and I will get these perfect concentric lines quilt it out at my quilting machine. I'm ready to save it. Let's go to the Home tab, click on Save. Choose where I want to have it saved. I want to save in my Designs folder. Give it a title. Let's call it Echo. And then choose a format to save it in where I can stitch it out. And click Save. I'm excited to see what you do with the Echo Quilting feature.